Natasha, and we got back a little while ago from Truly Tropical Mango Farm. So as you can see in front of me, I've got a table full of mangoes, and um, Truly Tropical, you may have been hearing about lately if you're a YouTube watcher. There's been three videos that I know of about Truly Tropical, this recent discovery <laughs> of organic mangoes, 40 varieties, but John Kohler's made a video, Paul Neeson, Orlin Holm. Um, so we weren't going to make a video about the mango farm today anyway, <laughs> but we thought we would show you the varieties that we got. Um, we're really excited to try all of these and what we plan to do, uh, as you can see, each one of these has a number in front of them next to the name. So what we're going to do is each time we try one, we're going to make a short little video, you know, like 30 seconds, one minute, about um, each type of mango and our opinions, our little review of the mango. So keep an eye out for those if you're interested in types of mangoes. Um, but just kind of in general, um, if you come in close, and maybe you've already seen it because Seth's already gone, we have the Bapt and I don't know how to pronounce it, but Baptiste maybe. And um, look how big this Bailey's Marvel is. And if you look out this way, you can see this little tree. It is a um, mango tree. My husband went to a grafting workshop yesterday, and he got a, a graft of Bailey's Marvel. So we didn't realize where it had come from, but the guy who works at Truly Tropical um, propagating the trees was there doing the grafting workshop. So um, Truly Tropical donated trees or grafts or whatever for this workshop. So Bailey's Marvel, um, Seth did taste this and said it's really good. So we're excited that we'll be growing one of those trees. But look how big these mangoes are. Um, so then Carrie Mango, um, we are growing one of these. This is the first type of mango tree that we got because they are, um, you can do it in an apartment so it can be a, a smaller tree. So we have a Carrie Mango and they're good tasting. And this I have no idea how to say, Chochocanum or something, but they look a lot like the other Philippine varieties that are like more um, kidney bean shaped and, and yellow and like this one's the smallest mango I've ever seen. That's pretty cute. Okay, and then Cogshaw is like, you know, a lot more red, deep purple. And Seth said this one is really, really good. And I guess some people say Cogs Hall. So Cogshaw, Cogs Hall. So this will probably be um, another kind that will grow, the next kind that we'll get or grow or whatever. Dwarf Hawaiian is interesting just how round it is and looks kind of Christmassy, red and green. And then Edwards. Now this is interesting because this Edwards looks a little different than um, this is the Edwards that we've been getting from a different mango farm. Um, this one just seems like a pale yellow compared to I don't know if it's just because it's early and hasn't ripened yet, but that's a um, rich mango and this is um, an old one. It's been around a long time. That's what it was at that other farm. Um, Sturrock Groves, and, and they have a lot of old mango trees. Um, Floragon, I don't know, this is just kind of more yellow, almost kind of triangular looking. Um, the Glen, this kind of looks like a normal mango <laughs> that I've seen a lot of. And then ice cream, this is the first time I've seen an ice cream mango, but it's like green and small, and I'm excited to try that one. And the lemon meringue, this is the one that everybody says is their favorite from Truly Tropical. So, um, but again, that's like the Philippine looking one, the kidney bean type shape. And I'm wondering if we've eaten some lemon meringue because we've gotten some that are shaped like this from um, a Mexican market near us and they tasted lemony and we were like, wow, <laughs> that was quite lemony for a mango. So I wonder if we've had something similar to that. And then um, Nam Dok Mai is uh, also a very good one. We'll probably get more of these if we go back. But look how flat that one is. Um, flat and long compared to the other ones. Uh, Pim Sang Mun is also kind of kidney bean shaped, but it's um, maybe this is just an earlier pick that it's got more green on it. 
but um, it's kind of round too, not as flat as some of the other, uh, you know, kidney bean shaped mangoes. And this Ryan, just kind of huge and seems sort of flat too. And Valencia Pride, I've never seen one that looks like this. Look at all the red on it, and it's red and yellow, and it's just so long and flat. So very interesting. Kind of, I wonder if they taste like oranges. I guess <laughs> with Valencia. Um, can't think of anything other than oranges. So here's all the mangoes, and um, if you like this video, please remember to like share, comment, subscribe, and keep an eye out for our videos where we are testing each kind of mango. I think that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. See you next time.